Welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Edward VI, but actually not something that happened in England. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 7th of August 1548, five-year-old Mary, Queen of Scots, set sail from Dumbarton in Scotland, bound for France. A marriage had been agreed between Mary and Francis the Dauphin, so Mary was going to be brought up at the French court. Mary arrived at saint paul de Léon near Roscoff in Brittany just over a week later. Mary was the daughter of King James V and Marie de Guise, and she'd become Queen of Scotland on the 14th of December 1542, when she was just six days old, following the death of her father. The Earl of Arran and then her mother acted as regents for her. In 1543, the infant Mary had been betrothed to the English Prince Edward, the future King Edward VI, by the terms of the Treaty of Greenwich, but it was subsequently renounced by the Scots. This led to the War of the Rough Wooing between England and Scotland, and on the 10th of September 1547, Scotland was decisively defeated by the English force at the Battle of Pinkie Clough. This led to the Scots renewing their old alliance with France, and in early 1548, Henry II, or Henri II of France, came to terms with Scotland, one of the terms being the marriage of Mary, Queen of Scots, and Henry's eldest son, Francis. It was agreed that Mary would be sent to be educated in France, and on this day in 1548, Mary set off from Dumbarton. She was accompanied by the four Marys, or the Queen's Maries as they came to be called, her maids of honour, Mary Fleming, Mary Beaton, Mary Seaton and Mary Livingston, who were all similar in age to Mary. Henry II was delighted with Mary, even though she didn't speak French, and it appears that she got on well with her future bridegroom. The French royal family provided her with an excellent education, including French, Latin, music, singing, dancing, and needlework. Mary and Francis married in April 1558, and in July 1559, Mary became Queen of France, as well as Queen of Scotland, following the death of King Henry II and the accession of Francis as Francis II. Her time as Francis's queen consort was brief, though, as Francis died in December 1560. By the time Mary left France to return to Scotland in the summer of 1561, she had spent 13 years at the French court, and her formative years too, and so must have been more French than Scottish in her ways, and she was obviously close to her Guise relatives in France and the friends she'd made there. It must have been a wrench for her to leave and return to her home country, a country she really wasn't that familiar with now. I'll give you a link to my Mary Queen of Scots playlist to find out more about this Scottish Queen. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 7th of August 1485, Henry Tudor, the soon-to-be King Henry VII, returned from exile, landing at Mill Bay in Wales. His intention was, of course, to claim the throne of England and to depose King Richard III. Find out more about his landing and what he did next in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. You can subscribe by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.